All righty, fried catfish. Awesome, stupendous, tremendous, but it's not fried. It's baked. It looks like it's fried. It tastes like it's fried, but it's not as messy as fried. So a super, super easy recipe, but the, forget the catfish, because the first thing we want to do is make tartar sauce, because the sooner you make it, the more flavor it's going to have. So make it in advance, a few hours, ideally the day before. All you need is mayonnaise and a little bit of sweet relish. I'm throwing in a little bit of a jalapeno pepper just to put a little zing in there. And then you can put some lemon juice or some vinegar. I'm going to use the pickling solution from the jalapeno peppers because more zing, because zing's my thing. Just stir it up and then that's it. Get it nice and mixed, put it in the fridge, and then when you're ready to use it, it'll be there, but do it in advance because it'll have more flavor. You know, don't wait till the last minute because it's not gonna, you're not gonna get the full impact. And for my breading, a lot of times I use panko breadcrumbs, but it's kind of a southern thing to use uh, saltines, which is what I'm doing here. Look how powerful I am. I'm pulverizing it. You know, I'm like Thor, and that's like something that Thor breaks. But anyway, it doesn't have to be completely pulverized. If you've got a few hunk of chunks in there, that's all righty. And then whatever spices you want to throw in there, boom, follow your heart, whatever the hell. Sometimes I just use curry powder like I do with my chicken. But for this, I used a little thyme and oregano, salt, pepper, some garlic powder, some cayenne, some paprika, but whatever spices that you want to throw in there. A little bit of cornmeal, half a cup, and then a little bit of all-purpose flour. And then stir it around, and then there you have it. That is our breading mixture. And this is enough probably for about two pounds of catfish, which is what I bought, but I only cooked up one pound. You know, these are like eight ounce fillets, but they're ginormous. They're so fat in the middle. These are much bigger than I like. I like little dinky skinny fillets of catfish, but these were just megalodon mutant catfish. But I, but I coat them generously with olive oil. You know, both sides, lots of olive oil, enough so that it's coating the pan as well so it doesn't stick you know too too much when I'm baking it up and then I'm very generous uh, with the uh, bread coating you know make sure you coat both sides of your catfish press it down in there you know get the crumbs smashed on there and then there you have it you know look how big these because this is like a big pizza pan and those I mean watch when I put it in the oven here you know look it's almost as wide as the damn oven but uh, bake it for about 30 to 45 minutes you know, at 375 degrees, you know, until your catfish is done. Like, these are big pieces. If it's smaller, it won't take that long. But see, when I'm pushing on it, how it bounces back up? So that's one way that you can tell it's done. And also, if it's black, then it's overdone. So, you know, if, when it has enough color and when it springs back when you push on it, then your catfish is done. You know, I'm serving it with a little bit of coleslaw and some tartar sauce. Too much tartar sauce? Maybe, but I'm a tartar sauce freak. I'm a freak about a lot of things, but especially tartar sauce. And there you have it, you know? Alrighty. What do you think, Who's this guy interrupting me? How's That's your catfish? How's your rude. coleslaw? Delicious. Everything bueno? Mm-hmm. And thanks All for right. the homemade tartar sauce. Oh, yeah. Tartar sauce is easy to make. As you see, I little, little, went a little crazy on my tartar sauce. We got our pants in the window, because that's a cool thing to do. So there you have it. Go ahead and give this recipe a try and let me know what you think. And bon appetit. Alrighty, I'll make the link off to the side there. We'll take you to the uh, coleslaw video. You know, check out the other videos. Subscribe, share, like, exercise, touch your toes. Um, if you see a little old lady and she needs help across the street, you know, take the time to do that. 